guys. Uh, today I thought I'd um, do another frequently asked questions video and the frequently asked question is do I have any um, potty training tips for um, people who bring home new puppies and I find this question very hard to answer because ever since we've been bringing home our boys um, our schnauzers um, Mozzie is my oldest he'll be eight He'll be eight. Oh my goodness, his birthday's coming up. What is today? Today's the 14th. I think his birthday's in two days. Oh my goodness, I need to get him a birthday gift. By the time you see this video, it probably will have been his birthday. <laughs> I need to get, I gotta plan stuff. Okay, so anyways, yeah, I think his birthday's Saturday. Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyways, um, I find this question hard to answer because ever since we've been bringing him home, so Mozzie will be eight. He was our first schnauzer puppy we brought home and when we brought him home we had a german shepherd mix named ginger who we got from the humane society she was uh, she was 14 14 and a half when we brought mozzie home and mozzie loved her and um right from the first day we brought him home and they went outside together um he followed her around and she'd pee and he'd sniff and he'd pee she'd poop he'd smell the poop he knew he had to go poop outside so um my only um job was when i brought him home was making sure i got him outside because it took a little while for um all of my boys um until they got a little older to know to go to the back door so i knew they had to go potty um what's this you got your little turkey you got your little turkey toy um so that was my biggest um, job was making sure they were outside constantly because when they're really little, they need to go outside every 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and if you can't keep an eye on them constantly in the house, you need to have a crate or a little doggy play area to keep them in there um, and maybe set like a timer. Every time you come back in, set it for 30 minutes um, to get them back outside. Now I know this isn't gonna work for people who work full-time jobs and who aren't home all the time and I know it's hard to train a dog when you're not home all the time because when they're puppies you really need to get them outside a lot <laughs> um, when we had our dog ginger and brought her home my husband and I were both um, working full-time jobs and it was a chore um, to get her trained to go outside and go potty we probably shouldn't have got a puppy uh, during that time of our lives being young and and working full-time and having our um, daughter who was I think she was about two two and a half so a toddler when we got ginger um, as a puppy we we probably should have waited um, <laughs> to get a puppy but we did and we finally got her trained and she was a, she was a wonderful dog but um, to be honest with you I can't remember um, what we did to get her potty trained um, it was just a lot of standing outside for a long time I remember in the cold because that was another thing we got her when it was winter and I remember us being outside in the cold a lot um, being out there it seemed like it took her forever to go to the bathroom um, so anyways um, I can't really tell you exactly um, what we finally did I know a lot of people will tell you to um, when you bring your puppy home keep them on a leash um, when you take them outside so they don't think it's playtime when they go outside take them outside on a leash make them do their business and then give them lots of praise after maybe let them go play a little bit after they go do their business take them off the leash if you got a fence in your yard take them off the leash then let them play um, but keep them on a leash till they do their business so they know it's it's time to uh, go pee or poo and then I can play um, so yeah this has always been kind of a hard question to answer because um, it's been pretty easy for my boys to learn that that's where they go potty. My job was always just to make sure they got outside when they needed to be to do their business. Um, and always remember too that especially boy dogs, Ginger used to like to mark a lot when we took her on walks, so girl dogs like to do it too, but boy dogs, um, they'll go outside, they'll pee a little bit here, they'll pee a little bit there, they'll pee a little bit over here. <laughs> So my dogs will pee four or five, six times when they go outside. So when you're taking your dog outside and they do a quick pee, especially boys, that doesn't mean their bladder's empty. 
they probably will go another two, three times. So you can't, as soon as they pee, pick them up and take them back in the house. <laughs> because that's what boy dogs do, especially boys. Now, Ginger, she used to go outside, take one, as, as she got older, she would take one long pee and be fine. But like when we go on walks, she would pee constantly just like a boy dog. Um, so, so anyways, there's a tip there too. Just because they pee one time doesn't mean they're done. They may come back in, in the house and then pee right on the floor because they still have their some in their bladder because they're boy dogs and they they that's what they do they mark so yeah so this has always been a tough um question to answer typing so i wanted to do this video today and hopefully you got some information out of it i don't know <laughs> since it hasn't really been hard to potty train my boys so i'm not the greatest at asking um, for tips on this subject. So if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below and uh, we will see you in the next video. Bye.